Hello everyone, Skookum here again with this more Command and Conquer, and we're back into it, conquering good old Africa, giving it the good old Cain special, and we're uh, gonna select on which part of Africa we're gonna take over today. We'll go ahead and go with there, they have a, a def a uh, decent amount of military resistance. About a 54% chance of... Well, half of their military, or a little more than half. And we're gonna... Do some controlled burns. With this here fireman. And we're gonna learn a little bit of the Tiberium. Humans in GDI friendly territories are suffering respiratory problems in significant numbers. This is the price of going green. Tiberium also has a profound negative impact on human immune and reproductive systems. Still unknown is the extent to which Tiberium affects human DNA. Nod analysts predict three out of five humans will suffer Tiberium-related illnesses within the next three years. End transmission. Stand by. That's quite the large amount of people gonna have a bunch of afflictions by it. How would you like to ensure your place in the highest echelons of knowledge? Surely you are ambitious enough to take on a mission of tremendous magnitude. I'd be okay with doing that. so secret, even Cain knows nothing of it yet. You see, power shifts quickly in the Brotherhood. Not sure about attacking America, though, if we're still in Africa. I'd like to finish one campaign US. instead of half button it to another continent. And that you're the one to do it. Oh boy, not the Pentagon. Definitely don't want to do that one. And he just got big sleeped. Why, hey there. I am Kane. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kane. Back from the States, I want you to take what men you have left and secure this abandoned GDI base. Once in, build up an arsenal of weapons and use them to wipe out the remaining GDI presence. Use their own weapons against them. Very brave and very smart. At least think it's brave, but you gotta make do with what you got. And what we got is ten people. We gotta make a save here. Don't make Cain mad. Wise words to live by. Oh, go inside your house and get you. I'll oh, go ahead and get on started. Get the troops moving, explore a little bit, keep them all together, yes. and then we'll just head on into this mission full steam ahead. I did this mission a few times to get the way of the land, as a smart person would. So that's why I know so much about this map. And, yeah. So there's a little, uh, we have to use like engineers and stuff to take over the buildings. New construction options. Was hoping this helicopter came full of other troops or engineers, but it didn't, so. You just gotta uh, either sell one of these buildings and hope you get an engineer out of that, or you just gotta hope you get like one of those crates on the ground that spawns either resources or troops. So it's basically a luck game with that.
These troops are finicky with getting in the helicopters sometimes. Sometimes you have to have the helicopter lift off and then land somewhere else nearby and then it'll lower its uh, uh, landing flap or whatever you want to call it, the, the tail end. I forget what it's called, but then it'll lower and then people can get inside. But yeah. It's it has done that on the original version too, so it's just something that's always stuck with it, even in the remasters. Cause the decade edition it did that too, so I guess it's just something that always stuck, which is kind of funny. A handy feature when you see that the refinery gets captured by the engineer is that the harvester is also transferred over to my control. So that's also something that's pretty uh, clutch as the hip cool kids say nowadays. So you don't have to go over there and build a airstrip for the nod guys to fly one in or a GDI base with their uh, vehicle depot and build one. So you can just yoink it from the player or computer or whoever you're up against if they already have one. So that's pretty neat. So when you go over there and capture the other team's uh, construction yard, you can then go over there and build their buildings and then create their own units, but for your team. So you can go over there and create tanks and uh, grenade uh, grenadiers and that sort of thing for Nod, or you can go over there and have the flamethrower tanks for the GDI. So you get a little bit of everything if you can uh, yoink away the construction yard. Construction complete. New construction option. 
now that I have their oh, vehicle manufacturing plant, I don't have to wait for it to be airdropped in with that airlift. So now I can just make it and it'll be right there. So that it's like more convenient for Nod instead of having to wait around. So I can just have a few extra and I think it's a little cheaper too if I remember right. But I like to have the infantry around because they're like a cannon fodder so it's more like cult like in my mind. And, like, to have Nod just be a, a whole bunch of, like, uh, uh, bodies that's thrown at the global, uh, uh, global forces. Like, man, there's a whole lot of these psychopaths just running at us. They're going, Nod, 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 Kane, 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 praise be Kane, and that sort of thing. So that's why I'm just focusing on the infantry, but I'll throw in some tanks and uh, buggies or whatever the Nod faction has for the equivalent. But yeah, that's my reasoning for it. Uh, that and it's just a whole lot cheaper to have the infantry. But yeah, that's that's just how it is sometimes. So the Rocketeers are like really good against those helicopters, but the airplanes are like really hard to pinpoint, so that's what the SAM sites are for. And it'd be a real shame for that like napalm strike to be on them, because it'd just be like a few hundred dollars down the drain, because it just engulf your entire squad line because it just engulfs them in flames. Usually when I find their main base, I like to have a rally point for all the troops to gather out. So I can just steamroll them with the tanks and the infantry all at once. So that we can just go over there and get this all finished and out of the way in one fell swoop. But since this is a clear them all out, it might be a pain because there might be like a few... Grenadiers just laying about the battlefield, so it'll just take some mop up time. But I'm pretty sure they're all in this base area. So that's why I'm just stockpiling all the troops here. The tanks are money to get rid of all those pillboxes that'll mow down the infantry. But yeah, so this is what this build up is for. Just uh demolish all of those buildings and what bunches of yes, grenade people they have left in there just waiting for the 
legion of cultists to swarm down like Jonestown. And the tanks are going to go ahead and get that started for us. They're going to drink the Kool-Aid one way or another, fellas. Construction complete. Building. My strike list usually when mopping up a base is the defenses, obviously, the refinery, so that if I do take out the defenses and can't like push into the base further, it hamper their like resources to uh, redo their defenses, and then I take out their barracks, and then I do their construction yard so that they can't do can't build any more defenses or any other buildings rather ideally I like to go for the construction yard first but I know like most cases I go with the defenses and then the construction yard but yeah the construction yard is a top priority along with the defenses Construction complete. I think the actor that did Seth in this and Kane are the same guy, but with a bald cap and with hair, because they look pretty similar to me. But don't tell Kane I said that, he might get me. And I don't want to lose my promotion that I just got. And we just found out this base. And I think, uh, yeah, we just got it. We got it done, fellas. And then we'll call this a job well done on our first promotion. We got the let out. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you didn't. Bye-bye.